In this video, we'll talk about order of operations. This little problem has been giving people trouble lately, so let's talk about these order of operations. We've got, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Just a mnemonic phrase to help you memorize. The P stands for parentheses or symbols of grouping. So the parentheses or the brackets. E is exponents. So if you have something like five squared, this two is the exponent. So you do the exponents before you do multiplication and division. Now this multiplication and division, I'm going to put this in brackets because you work this left to right. Left to right. When you see something grouped together, this multiplication and division, you work it left to right as it's written down in the problem. Addition and subtraction is the same thing. Left to right. Now, we can take a look at this problem and pick out what we have. We don't have any parentheses. We don't have any exponents. So we start in with the multiplication and division. And we do that before addition and subtraction. What I'm going to do here is throw in some parentheses to help us break apart where the multiplication and division starts and ends. Right there. We've got multiplication right there. We've got division right here. So let's simplify those. And what we're left with is 6 minus 1 times 0 is 0 plus 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now we're easy. Multiplication and division, we work uh, left to right, and there were just a couple of numbers there. Addition and subtraction, we also work left to right. So 6 minus 0 is 6, still plus the 1. 6 plus 1 is 7. So there you have it. Now you've got the upper hand on the this order of operations problem.